The standard September essay, What I Did on My Summer Vacation, will take a global twist for one group of Holyoke Catholic students as they can't help but think about the friends they met thousands of miles away this summer in Africa. As Carolee McGrath reports, the students learned what it meant to become the hands and feet of Christ in an experience of a lifetime. 15-year-old Michael Malika heads to class. He just started his sophomore year at Holyoke Catholic and he has a busy schedule, honors classes, cross country and service work. But as he gets back into the swing of things, he can't help thinking about the kids he met this summer thousands of miles away. It was a wonderful trip. I mean, um, the experience was just uh, very spiritual. Michael was one of five students from Holyoke Catholic High School who traveled to Tanzania in July for a three week mission trip. The students worked with priests at the House of Compassion in Musoma in Eastern Africa. The home is a shelter for 65 people who suffer from physical and or mental illnesses. Some of the residents are just little kids. The students returned home exhausted and changed. There was also a lot of friendship involved and just relationships. We learned a lot from the Tanzanians that we stayed with and that we got to meet. And we just learned a whole lot of stuff that was really interesting and that we can bring back here to the U.S. and be kind of like, wow, this is really amazing. You appreciate the little things here. The little things like running water, clean clothes, and books for school. Michael's father, Sal Malika, was one of the chaperones. And as a father, Sal says seeing the young children who had been abandoned was heartbreaking. You must be proud of this kid. Oh yeah, he did wonderful. He made some really uh, good relations with the younger kids. He took a real liking to some of the younger kids. Phil Paul, a religious studies teacher at Holyoke Catholic, organized the trip. We went there to work with a merry old father, Father Michael Bassano, who works at the house and lives at the House of Compassion in, in Musoma. It's a home for people who have been rejected or abandoned by their families, or in the case of uh, children, many of them have been, have been orphaned by AIDS, both parents having died of AIDS. Shannon O'Connor, a senior, says it was tough to leave Africa and the people who became her friends. It was just such a great experience and we met so many wonderful people there that when it came time to leave it was so hard just to make that break. And there's things here that, you know, are nice to come back to, but there's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to miss. Samira Yu, also a senior, says she learned so much from the people she was there to serve. We stayed with them and we built our relationship with them and they taught us a lot. For example, uh, the word pole pole means slow down, slow down. Like they always talk to me like pole pole, slow down, just stay in now and focus on present. Look around, see the beautiful things around you rather than do tons of stuff. Even though this trip took up three weeks of their summer and was full of sacrifice and was exhausting, these students say they really believe that this is where Jesus wanted them to be. Do you think you grew in your faith at all? Yeah, definitely. Every morning and night, we would reflect. Every day we went to church, so it was definitely an experience I've never done before, but it was worth it. Did you it feel good. like Jesus was with you? Because it wasn't yeah. easy, right? Mm -hmm. You could definitely feel Jesus' presence there much more. We took so much time to like slow down. When you really like take the time like with reflections and just seeing it in the people, you start to really take the time to look and find Jesus and God around you. Sophomore Rachel Kozakowski hopes others will consider going next year. The people there are just so peaceful and you can just see God in everyone. And they're just really, they have like a really strong faith and then during church just everyone is like playing the drums and singing along and even if a lot of people keep to themselves, when they're in church they sing along and they shake hands with everyone and it's just amazing. On the trip, Michael says he saw Christ in perfect strangers that he now calls friends. And even though they were a world away, he says he really felt God's hand on them. There's one day where we actually wanted to go to a cathedral, and we had no clue, obviously, where to go. And they have these little vehicles, they're minivans, and they're called Dala Dalas. And we got on one, and we actually met a guy that spoke pretty good English. He was going to the cathedral, and we were just like, wow, that's just God 
uh, just guiding us. He's there for us. As they served and answered Christ's call to be his disciples in a place far from home. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.